that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel right Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know everyone welcome to my clean with me and come shopping with me to tesco's today i'm going to give the house a nice deep clean using some new cleaning products that i've not used before i think i'm using a method lavender fragrance which is absolutely lovely and i am using the new products that i purchased from b&m stores which are sponge they're called it's a pink cloth and a little pink sponge i didn't use the sponge in today's video but i did use the cloth and i know that you're going to be really impressed when you see the results of this cloth it's absolutely brilliant the things that it can do as well i'll demonstrate in today's video so if anybody wants to purchase one you can grab one from your local b&m stores i think they're pound fifty. this is not an advert at all sponsored by sponge i just absolutely love the product so i'm going to start by loading the dishwasher because i had a lot of dishes and not everything could go in the dishwasher so these little few dishes here i'm going to wash by hand i'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Today I'm giving the kitchen a really deep clean and moving all of the things off all of the counters and giving them a nice clean with this Method Multi Surface Cleaner in the fragrance Lavender. I've not used this one before and it did smell lovely. It didn't smell like oldie worldy lavender. It actually smelled really nice and fresh so I was happy with that. I would love to know what your favourite spray is that you use around the kitchen, be it a multi-purpose cleaner or an antibacterial cleaner. Mine's usually the rhubarb one from Method but I purchased a big one from Waitrose online and it was a very large bottle for I think it was £6 which worked out so much cheaper because I got to fill the regular bottle so many times but by the time I'd used it I was so tired of the smell of rhubarb so I chose the orange one which I think is clementine which I absolutely love also and I've just purchased the lavender one to try but I would love to know what your favourite kitchen cleaner is so I can give that a try. I just like to try different things all the time and if they're eco-friendly and pet safe then that's even better I'm out of reasons I'm out of rhyme but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs I'm tired of this and I want to tell you straight just like it is you're watching me This is the first time I've ever used the windowlean window cleaner or glass cleaner rather and it was actually really really good now as you know I'm a stickler for Mr Muscle the green one their glass cleaner is the best but this one I was quite impressed with it cleaned the glass quite nicely and I'm all for trying different cleaning products just to change things up a little bit but yeah I really love this windowlean glass cleaner I will definitely purchase this again the deal cause I want 
want you to show me what you feel You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold You're fearless Steal all the gold You can get, you can get Show me your love And leave me breathless, breathless Now, as you know, I always use Mr. Sheen on my high gloss kitchen. It's the only thing I've ever used in the four years that we've had our kitchen. And today, for the first time, I'm trying the sponge cloth. I just wet it with some warm water and I cannot wait to show you the end result of using the sponge cloth on its own with just warm water on my kitchen cupboards. The shine is, it's just something else. And I'm amazed that a cloth can achieve a shine like that without anything at all no furniture polish no nothing it is absolutely outstanding i can't wait for you to see it now my kitchen is a handleless kitchen so it does get fingerprints all over it now look at this the shine you can see the reflection the other side of the kitchen in the cupboards it's that clean there is not a fingerprint in sight and all i'd done was run over it with the cloth worked absolutely amazing i highly recommend the sponge It's so 
were sent to me by April. They came in a little box on, was it called Blue Monday? I think it was Blue Monday, but they came in and it says, everyone loves a clean loo. Our Fresh Stripes Toilet Gel helps you enjoy a clean and fresh loo, flush after flush, and they do. You may have seen these in my Cherries haul. I buy them quite often from Home Bargains and B&M. I think they're around a pound. And you basically just put, it looks like jelly in the toilet. It has two things, you push it like that, sticks to the side of the toilet and gives a nice clean smell in the toilet and obviously keeps it nice and clean. But yeah, they were sent to me, gifted from Airpure. So thank you so much, Airpure. it feels so nice in your hands almost like almost like marshmallowy as you way to describe it. it feels lovely it not only cleans my kitchen cupboards to the most amazing shine but i'm going to show you something now i'm going to spill some water on the island and watch how this sponge just drinks it up keep watching Thinking that I could have done something But now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends No waking up beside you And holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my life got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut going to be amazing if you've got kids and there's any spillages or anything like that it's still full of water if I just bring it over so you know it's not edited it's still full of water watch I'm gonna bring it out <laughs> how amazing and it just literally wipes up any water <laughs> I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I The green oust doesn't last five minutes the smell it smells gorgeous literally four or five minutes and you need a lot of it as well but for five minutes it smells gorgeous you're not really looking for a friend so at the top for me never thought the loving would be easy but it's all for free won't cost the thing so it's yours
that was a mammoth pile of laundry to be folded it had the bedding because i'd stripped the beds for that to be washed and dried and put back on and just our bits of laundry that needed folding too that have been left in the utility so i'm gonna fold all this get it all put away upstairs i won't film taking it upstairs and making the bed because that's going to be in another video otherwise this video would have been far too long and I did want to include my food haul into the end of this video so we're just going to fold up this laundry and then we'll get right on with the food haul We've just been to Tesco's in Allerton Road to do a little bit of shopping. It's not really a meal plan or anything like that. It's just some quick bits that we needed to get the tea in. So to show you quickly, we got some naan breads, some garlic and coriander and some pashwari naan. A stuffed crust pizza for Ollie because it's his favourite and he loves it. Some diced beef for beef stew or scouse. Halloumi fries, some tomatoes. This is Lee's, it's a chicken tikka, sliced chicken tikka. Lee's puddings and the little lemon ones might be mine. <laughs> some halloumi, some gravy, bananas, fabric softener and a chicken in the bag. I've not tried, I've not tried these before but our Mel got one last time when we were in Tesco's in Allerton Road and she got one of these and said it was absolutely lovely so I've picked one up I'm going to put it in the oven with some roast potatoes and veg and I'll let you know what it's like but I should imagine it's nice got some shreddies some cookie crisp and some Weetabix some Tilda boil in the bag rice to go with our naan breads some fruit shortcake biscuits the little bars which are only 96 calories per bar some mink Kit Kats, layers of joy, the chocolate trifles there, mine, which I absolutely love. 
Mr. Molly's treats, I don't know, will he pick them up? I've no idea what they are. I think they're just a little cake. Some bacon, some tartar sauce to go with the fish, which we're going to have for tea tonight. We're going to have fish and chips and peas. So we've got some tartar sauce to go with them. Some spaghetti hoops because I really love spaghetti on toast. I just think it's so nice, especially on brown bread. Some peas to go with tonight's tea, which is fish and chips. Some mint sauce. A packet of bay baileys. <laughs> no, no, no. A packet of bagels. <laughs> some Coke Zero. And then I've got some of these to try. I've not had these before. That's the Tesco's finest Balti sauce. And a tikka masala. I'll let you know if they're nice. They're nice to just put some chicken in the slow cooker with these sauces. Do your rice when you get in from work and your naan bread and your meal's done in minutes. Some beef hula hoops, some semi-skim milk and some full fat milk. That's my little haul from Tesco's. I've got the receipt here just so you know how much it costs in case anybody does want to know. Just give me one sec. That food order came to £84.35. So we got quite a bit. I think we've got one, two, three, because I've got chicken in the freezer. Four, five, six. Probably got about six meals. So it's probably a week shop there. And you've got lots of snacks, bacon butties in the morning, lots of breakfast cereal. So yeah, that's my little food haul.